Here is everything that I got from the VIP package for Morgan Wallen. So let's do a little unboxing, guys. <laughs> I'm getting gas right now. I just got my hair dyed. It's Morgan Wallen Day. I'm trying to separate because I just took out 100. This is for gas. Oh, he's washing my windows for me. Oh my god, I love, love that. This is for wax because I'm going to go get wax. This is Morgan Wallen Day. Prepared. <laughs> so anyways, and then just get ready. Just enjoy the day. Today's an enjoyable day. I don't know if I'm going to bring my camera. I don't know if I'm going to chance it. It says you can, but I don't want to like get up there and have somebody rude and like take away my camera. Literally, what am I supposed to do if they say no? Like throw it in the garbage? You know what I mean? Like, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I might phone there and just like ask, but still like, I don't want to be that girl that's like, oh, well I phoned and there's a whole lineup of like a sold out arena of a hundred thousand people. And I'm that girl that's like, oh, well I phoned and asked and you know, like, I don't want to hold the line. Cause like, I don't want people to be like, move, like move. Like, you know what I mean? <sighs> So yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but anyways, this is gas. So anyways, we're just having a good day, chill day. I spray tan, it looks great. And I'll try to catch you guys when I'm done with my wax. That this barely is like a Morgan Wallen vlog. I don't want to bring my camera because I don't want to risk it getting confiscated. But this is my look. I'm not wearing these <laughs> pants with it. I'm wearing a skirt. And I'm going to be posting some pictures and an Instagram and a get ready with me. So if you guys want to know anything, um, it's all going to be in there. But <sighs> I'm having like, like, I'm excited. I'm not, I'm like anxiously excited. Okay, guys. So this is the final look. I feel so like cutesy. Also, my hair is like really cute. I hope it stays teased. If not, I brought a little comb with me and I'll just tease it in the bathroom. We're about to leave. I'm so excited. Anyways, I'm so excited. Are you, are you performing? I'm like... performing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to run on stage. Me suction cupping on stage. Bye. Why not spin? Hello. We just got back from the Barney Wallet concert. Look at my merch. I got merch. I got merch. This is the merch that I got. I'm not wearing pants, so I'm just going to show you this. It looks like this is the one that I wanted. I got it. Ah! And on the back, it says all the, well, I think it does. Yeah. <laughs> all the tour dates and our city's there. This is what I got. <laughs> and it was so much fun. It was such a good concert. We are home now. It's like 12, it's 12, 19. I'm so glad I wasn't in the pit, but yet there was like not that many people in the pit and he was like taking people's cell phones and signing autographs. And I wish now I got pit tickets, <laughs> but you never know until you like try it. But we got like a VIP lounge. Like there was a lounge. There was a lounge. Also like, look at my wrist. Morgan Wallen VIP. Ah! My mom was like, you know, he's gonna like come out and say hello, right? <laughs> she was like hyping me up. She's like, you know, he's gonna come out. I was like, why would he? Like he has like performing to do. I don't know. Also, I don't have extensions in my hair and it looks like I do. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyway, this was guess. Take your comments right now. Guess before I say this, how much it's in your head. How much do you think this sweater was? We call this bunny hug where I live. Guess how much this was. Ready? 110 Canadian dollars. 110 dollars. 110 dollars. It is very warm, but that's how much it is. And I'm gonna live in it. And I'm gonna like sweat in it. And I'm gonna do everything in it. <laughs> it's gonna be my like trophy piece. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's use my Barbie bath bomb with this Barbie head. Woohoo! If you guys have been following me on social media, you know that I'm sick, so I just like, ugh, I'm really sick. I did start using uh, some hyaluronic acid with a new moisturizer on my skin, and my skin feels really good. But around my nose, because I've been blowing my nose so much, it's dry. You know, I've just been sick, so my skin is not the greatest, but with that, I can feel like it is really helping already. And I just got my period this morning, so I'm just like, blah. <laughs> Sorry. It's not COVID, so that's good. Ugh. I just feel like crap. Laying in bed all day, I feel like just makes me worse. And like, I want to order food and stuff like that. So having a bath, getting up, putting like a cute little pink balm in there might help me. I think I might just go grab a tea to make me feel better and then edit. Yeah, let me, let's see what this bath bomb looks like. I'm Wish we could turn back time. Also, I hate when the freaking these are like this. Like, they look ugly, but I'm about to have a bath anyway. But let's cut her open. The nails I'm trying to take off because I'm getting a new set. It's cotton candy scented. I got this at Shoppers, by the way, if you're wondering. Cute. Come on, come on. Ooh, okay. Oh, it smells more like, like strawberry. No, no, like Pepto. It smells like Pepto Bismol. <laughs> and I love Pepto Bismol. <laughs> ah. 
Get over there, spawn of Satan. There, look at her. Now let's drop it. Drop it. Also, um, this, okay, okay, this camera. See how it's like dirty? Okay, well it doesn't want me to show you, but it's like dirty in the corner. <laughs> because Austin like works as a mechanic, so literally I clean this once a week and it just keeps getting dirty because he's like covered in dirt. Not me calling him out for being dirty. <laughs> okay, kind of pretty, kind of not. It's giving Kool-Aid. Yes, that's everything. Thank you. Okay, getting my tea. I'm wearing this. I tested twice for COVID. It's not COVID. I'm feeling better, but just the germs, you know, I don't want to get somebody just sick. Just respect type thing, you know? Respect type B. Is there coffee with oat milk? Steep tea. The steep tea. Steep tea with oat milk and a sugar? Yes, yes. Sorry for that. No, that's okay. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes, please. Acid dance, good to hear your voice. I feel like I look more alive today, too. Look alive, look alive. That bath actually helped me get more awake and then being in this fresh air. Oh, Happy thank today. you. You too. Thank you. Yay! That's awesome. So I got this. Oh, I just saw somebody wearing gloves. Like, it's about that time. It's plus three. Oh, it's plus nine now. It was plus three when I woke up. Like, uh, fall is here. We only get a little bit of fall before snow. Before snow fall. <laughs> Our fall here, basically, in this side of Canada. But, wow. It's more of just, like, a headache now. Like, it's more like, I guess, sinuses. Because everything's, like, coming out. But, I mean, we all get sick, right? Nothing you can do but just try to be healthy. I can't see over this guy. Hey, when people park huge trucks. Like, I don't know, like, machine equipment and stuff like that like right where people are turning so that you can like not see that well she my little boo thing girl she my little boo thing <laughs> hello everyone did my earring just fall out and i feel like cinderella today very random bad lighting even worse oh no 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 i feel like cinderella with this and this and the ruffles not cinderella bell right oh my god i have a little update from my camera situation for my lens getting fixed so i messaged them and they were like we haven't even looked at it yet so it's been there for two weeks now and now it's thanksgiving weekend actually so just annoying so I need to film videos so I'm just gonna film some videos on my camera here and I'm feeling better I feel like this is like the last day of my sickness where it's just like just leaving so I feel good I've got my corset on because I'm gonna do a little try on haul I've been wanting to film this uh, West Edmonton mall haul since I got back from Edmonton but that's when I had like this crappy it's not a crappy camera but I prefer like my good camera the focuses and then take off my nails because I don't like how these are looking and I get them done next week and I'm getting a full set anyway I'm just gonna take them off but you might not notice so <laughs> I, I don't know some people think that having a few cute ones on is worth it rather than having nothing but some people think that it's like gross and trashy and that's what you're focusing on so I feel like I'm on the fence because I have so many missing that I've been taking off so it's like ah. okay I just film I'm ready to rip these extensions out now I feel like when I'm feeling better I like do a filming day and then I just like wham get like all my energy taken out again and I feel like I'm sounding stuffed up again it's okay because I am dead filming now and at least I got some content up but yeah yeah, I feel like I could have a nap again and I don't I'm not like a napper. I'm not a napper. I'm a grabber. I grab ass. Girl bye. Do you like my background? Cute cute cute. I posted it on my story if you guys wanted it. I don't know when. It was like two weeks ago. Why would he snap me? Anyways, moving on. <laughs> I cut it off. <laughs> it literally is like crusty now because I wore it for like four days, but it was time to cut it off if I wanted to keep it so it wasn't so crusty. It was so long when I was doing dishes, it was like getting into the dishes and then that's like dirty dishes and soap water, so it was gross. So I just cut it off, hung it to dry, and now I can just put it in my keepsake box. But yeah, let's go ahead and unbox everything that I got from the VIP merch. So if you guys didn't watch my TikTok, I did bring my camera. I'm glad I didn't because they were checking for everything. And I just didn't want to be that girl, you know, that was like holding up the line because I wanted to bring my video camera, right? Or to get it confiscated or something or whatever. So, what am I saying? <laughs> oh, yeah, we actually had trouble finding out where to go for the lineup, actually. I'll tell you guys a little story time. Or do you guys want to see what's in the merch first? I'll show you guys what's in the merch first. And then if you guys want to stick around for the story time. But this was what I got for the Morgan Wallen merch. Ready? So it was this bag, um, but first of all, they gave these in hand. There's the tickets in here, which are good keepsake. The receipt is on here. And then in here, I never opened it because I was like, I'm just gonna open it later. These are were in there, two 
each and when we got home Austin was like looking in there I wanted to wait and see what was in there to open it with you guys But he was looking in here and he was like wait look at these these are cool They're like little chips of Morgan Wallen one night at a time world tour and I was like, oh my god Those are so cool like what do you use them for or like whatever and then Austin looked at the back and he's like Oh cool. It says one drink at a time and then it clued into me These were probably drink tickets like two drinks each because I got two uh, VIP tickets So unfortunately we didn't use those I only had one drink anyway that night So he had two drinks it would have been nice But these are cool souvenirs and maybe they'll be like super trendy in a few years And maybe I'll be able to sell them for a million dollars. Just kidding. <laughs> these are cool Just like keepsake things. So that was stuff that like was included in the merch, but not the merch items um, I think there was different merch packages. So this wasn't um, the same because when I first walked up to the uh, VIP check it she scanned my name and then she said stand in that line actually over there because you have a bigger merch package than if you were to stand in this line so I know that the merch bundles were different so this isn't what everyone got so I got two of everything the only other thing that wasn't included in the merch things were these these are coasters when we got to the VIP lounge we had our own VIP lounge you can also go on to my TikTok if my TikTok is right here I did a whole TikTok of the night because I couldn't film so I filmed everything there there was like pictures of outfits that he wore and then the actual outfit behind glasses not behind glasses but behind glass glass cases <laughs> so it was super super cool to see but um at our own little bar like the vip bar there were all these coasters and i was like oh my god these are so cool like these coasters and she said yeah you, she's like take as many as you want like they're they're here for you to take and i was like what so i just took one of each because again i don't know what i'm going to use them for but i took there and she was like yeah go ahead like they were so nice in there for vip and it was so much better um to like move around in there and like get drinks they had our own bathroom like it was so nice okay the first thing are these little lamps if I say it weird, whatever. <laughs> we didn't wear these during the night. I was scared somebody was gonna like snatch it from me and also I didn't want to like see what else was in the bag. I was like, I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> Just for reference, I was at the Saskatoon concert, so these items may have been different in different places. But we had the wristbands, so that's what we got that's what got us into like the VIP lounge and stuff like that. So we didn't necessarily need these around our neck. Some people were were wearing them to be like, ooh, but this is more of a keepsake thing. I have a bunch of like VIP and like lanyards and stuff, stuff like at uh playlist live with my name on them and stuff. So I keep a collection of these. So it says one night at a time tour VIP. These are so cool. Then I already know what this is because Austin took this out and was wearing it. So you could see which one because he took out that thing. So this one's his. These are Morgan Wallen snapbacks. Now some merch packages are like things I'm like a beer koozie or whatever. I'm like, I'm, I'll never use that. Or like a balloon or something. <laughs> I'm like, what? Or a pen. Like, okay, I'll use a pen, but like... <laughs> For real. So this is like something that actually Morgan Wallen would wear. Like this is like his style. Plus it's something that like is unisex. I would wear and Austin would wear. Like it was just like a really good thing to include I think. And it's snapback so it can fit um, uh, different heads. Anyways it has his little logo here. Morgan Wallen. I love the color. Love the mesh. One night at a time. Woo! So I'm just gonna keep that thing in there, but basically it looks like this. I don't wanna like ruin everything. Then, so the lounge was so cool. Like I feel like that alone was like made it worth it and to skip the line. Like there was like a 40 minute line up when we got there to get in and we like skipped that whole line and just like went straight in to the VIP check-in. These are little foam finger hand things that say one night at a time. They're like actually foam too, like stretchy or like not stretchy, but you know what I mean. See my nails are already piercing it. So it's like really foam. You hang it off your keys or wherever. I think I'm gonna put it on my keys. I actually ended up hanging it right up here, right on my rear view mirror. And it looks so cute, I love it. And then, this is what I was like, do not open these to Austin, like do not open them. Because I don't know if they're gonna be signed. They're probably not, but, and I won't be upset if they aren't. And I don't know if they're different. So let's go ahead and open these together. Like, do I frame the mine? Okay, they are not signed. <laughs> It's this little VIP 2023 that looks nothing like him. Why does that Loki look like Dylan Dennis? Like actually, look what does that actually look like Dylan Dennis? I mean, I have my own VIP Dylan Dennis. I Morgan Wallen one night at a time tour. Looks like this. The colors are really cute, and they're probably the same, right? They're gonna be the same. Watch the other ones signed. <laughs> I'm not gonna open the up the, uh, open up the other one because I think that one I will. Save and then this one I think will just stick in the garage. And it'll be cute in the garage. But yeah, that was everything that we got. Now on to like the mini little story time. 
So um, I had a couple friends there that were like telling me, we were all keeping each other updated. Like, when are you leaving? Like, what are you bringing? Like, what, what are you wearing? Stuff like that. And one of my friends was like, we just got there. The lineup to get in at the front is like 45 minute wait. So like go around back. So I went around back and literally it was like three people. So like, I was like, thank goodness for her. So we had to walk a bit. Also, some people were clocking my shoes because they were like, why would you wear dirty shoes to a concert? Because we literally didn't even get um, dropped off at the doors. We got dropped off about a 10 to 15 minute walk away, which is like dirty, muddy. We're walking through fields and like dirt and stuff. So my shoes, if I would have worn clean shoes or like heels or something like that, I wanted to be comfy. So I wanted to just wear sneakers and no one's going to be staring at my shoes anyway. I just wanted to be comfy and being able to walk like all that way and like stand, I was standing at the concert the whole time, going up and downstairs, waiting in merch line. I cleaned them a little bit, but they were still dirty. Like they were dirty, let's be honest, but they would have been dirty anyway from like walking all that way and also I have like scrubbed my shoes my white shoes before or worn like brand new shoes before to like concerts and I've had beer spilt on that beer spilt on me you were stepping in like sticky like beer and stuff like that so that is why I didn't want to wear like a clean pair or like a pristine pair or a new pair or heels or anything like that because I've made the mistake before like literally I've stepped in puke before and not even known I've had somebody puke and splash on my shoes like <laughs> good thing there was like no like puking around me at least the floors still were sticky like walking around and in the bathrooms and stuff and then we we're when we got out of the concert we had another like 15 minute walk actually longer because we walked longer to catch an uber so we walked like maybe 20 minutes just to catch an uber so that is why but um anyway so when we got there we told the uber driver like just drop us off here and we can walk because if you try to enter here you probably won't be able to get out and he was so thankful so anyways we get to that little back area get in like right away past this through security and the guy's like tickets and I had the tickets but they they just had I don't know if I have them up wait hold okay I deleted them but basically it just said our seats so it said like section C row three and then the seats and it looked like a ticket but there was no like barcode or like whatever it's called like that the the whatever code you know the black and white dots i never remember what that shit's called q qr qr code or whatever and it didn't have like a scanner also but it it was a ticket like it said our seats and everything but it, it had his like morgan wallen like the tour name and everything and it had the seats and it had my name on the thing and it had a confirmation number on it and everything so he was like oh no i sorry i need a barcode i need a scanner so we're passed through security but we're waiting and i was like okay so he's like can i touch your phone i said absolutely so he goes to the next one and he's like going down and he's like trying to like click ticket and it's like nothing's loading so it's like it looks sus so I go back to the page because I'm on my Ticketmaster account so I like show him and then it says like here like it says like my tickets right there I'm covering up my order number but that's that's what it was so at the time it was clickable so I clicked it and it brought it brought us to those tickets but there was no codes with them and he's like well sorry I just I need this and I was like okay well then what do I do because I literally spent like thousands on these tickets never said that to him but like I literally spent like thousands like what do I do like I'm not gonna be like sol right now like I'm literally like right here almost in you know but I didn't say anything like that to him I was like keeping it cool because I like could like crack under pressure here and get like anxiety attack so he was like well I need a barcode he's like I think I need you need to download the Ticketmaster app and I was like okay no problem he's like could you step off to the side just like just off to the side which was nice he didn't tell me to like go to the front of the line because like so he could scan so I was like yep yeah. I downloaded the Ticketmaster app right away then it pulled up my tickets right the same pulled up my tickets and I was like okay here and you clicked it and again it was the same thing and then on them they said this is not a ticket both of them and I said that to him I was like it says right here this is not a ticket and I was like what do we do and then I said did I accidentally put it at will call so sometimes like you can um, not have physical tickets or like get your tickets mailed to you or you can pick up your tickets at will call or the box office so I asked him because I feel like he would know right because it doesn't say anything here there's no information I got all the emails before and nothing said anything about like my tickets or anything so I was like stressing out and he's like well I sorry ma'am I need a barcode and I'm like okay well what do you suggest Yes, they do please and as he said this this girl behind me now I'm like short okay I'm under five feet this girl was like in like heels like cowboy boot heels or whatever and she was like okay okay <laughs> and like laughing like to her friend and then she says and I can hear her like at the corner you know like my peripheral but I don't say anything because I'm already like stressed and just trying to figure out I'm not trying to take away from people's time I'm just trying to figure out like what I need to do so that I can get out of the line you know and then do the proper protocol or like go to the box office or something which is also like all the way around she says can the people that don't have tickets and that are being bums and just trying to get into this event and get free tickets move to the side being bums 
don't have tickets. Like, uh, so I was like, I'm, I literally turned around and like literally buy, like who says that? Like, I am so sick of like people like walking over me or like because I'm small or because I look like a hole. <laughs> Or because like there's an issue with the tickets or if I don't know what's going on then all of a sudden I'm a bum or I'm a broke or like you know like I'm stupid or something like that. It's like you know sometimes things happen you don't have to. So I turned around and I was like I'm as I was turning around I was like I'm and I was like you're gonna get in calm down and I turned around. I don't want to be that girl that's like oh well I phoned and there's a whole lineup of like a sold out arena of 100,000 people and then that girl's like oh well I phoned and asked and you know I don't want to hold the line because like I don't want people to be like move like move. And then Austin's like looking at me and I'm like I like literally don't care and then she like says something under her breath and giggles. Probably something making fun of like my ass or my lips or my tits. A low blow, you know, it means nothing to me. I feel like that's what people do when they're, whatever. I didn't hear what she said though, but, and I was like, patience, girl. Like bitchy like that. And I'm not usually like that at all. But like this girl was like, you could tell she was like that mean, she had very mean girl energy and the way she looked at me and to like look down at me like this. Like it was very like, ugh. That's why I was like, you're gonna get in, like calm down. Like I'm just trying to figure out my tickets. So anyways, he goes on my, the ticket page again. Now I'm on the Ticketmaster app and he scrolls all the way to the bottom Autumn, which are now way past the tickets. He said, do you have your wallet connected to here? And I was like, what? Like, cause I said, they're already paid for. I was confused, like why you would say that. I was like, um, and then he said, oh, I think you also need to download this. And it was like Apple Pay or something like that, like Apple One or Apple Pay. And it was a black app or whatever and with white writing and he clicks it for me to download it. And I was like, okay, um, I was like, do you think we should just go to the box office? And then as I'm saying that, this girl's now being buzzed in. He's like scanning tickets. And then she's like, bye, like that, like I'm, and I was like, bye girl, mom. Oh, I wish I could find her after and tell her, oh, it's because it was VIP, you <laughs> know, like, bye. Ugh. So we walk all the way around to the front, right? And now we, there's like a huge line, right? But there's like a bypass line for like, uh, pick up orders like picking up tickets and I was like isn't that what we're doing like cuz I don't want to like I don't like cutting in line but like I don't know if I'm supposed to be standing in this line right so there's like this like cut thing and then it's just a way to like cut through to go I asked them and I said I don't know what to do here like I don't know what to do and then she's like oh honey it says right here at the top um, in bright purple writing not bright sorry it was dull purple writing and it was in like a bubble right at the top of the ticket which I saw that before and I had asked him if that meant anything because it said VIP tickets so I had said that to him so that's when she said actually the um people trying to get tickets blah 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 because i said that they were in vip and so i think she was like thinking that i was like i'm in vip and she's like move out of the way like kind of like that kind of thing like uh. and he was like no i need a barcode like it doesn't matter if it's vip or not i need a barcode so i was like okay like trust the professional he knows what he's doing i don't it's his job but this girl at the box office she was like no honey you're in vip like there's a vip check-in just right outside the store right there and then you get right in and then you go through security you don't even have to you don't even have to wait in line she you don't have tickets because they have your name with tickets these are the tickets like these right here <laughs> are the tickets like actual tickets because they're vip anyways my relief and i was like thank you so so much so i went to the vip check-in three people in line and i was so excited went up to the first one like i told you guys she checked me in but she's like you guys should go to this one because you'll get better stuff because you have a different vip and it was such a smooth sailing after that but i wanted to like go to that girl and be like hi from the vip but like <laughs> At the same time, like if she has negative energy, don't let that negativity ruin your night and don't let yourself be negative because of someone else, you know? So that was like a little story time about that too. Like it was kind of just like frustrating and like flustered and I didn't know what to do and like trying to get help. But like when the guy is there and he's like, I don't know, like pretty much like I don't know what to do and I don't want to download all these apps if I don't have to. I'm glad I have the Ticketmaster app now though because it'll make it easier for other concerts and to buy tickets and stuff. How <sighs> was that stressful? So I'm so glad I never wore like heels. And the last thing I want to say is like, the cowboy boots people were like oh you should have worn cowboy boots well cowboy boots aren't my style so um i'm not gonna wear something that's you know not my style just because i'm going to a country show maybe if they were like completely like glittered out and blinged out then yes i would i would wear those or if they were like pink or something like that first of all cowboy boots are very expensive and just for like one night i feel like i just would rather like wear something that was like me like a little cute skirt and some converse or some air forces or something and just like be comfy anyways those are all the questions it was an amazing show i still in line for an hour for merch and I got the merch as you saw I got it ah! and that was about it I'm gonna read a joke and then end out this vlog but uh yeah I'm so excited it was such a good time how cute my bracelet is today too I got it from Dylan's candy bar either in Vegas or LA or something like that a really long time ago but I've been bringing back my old jewelry and loving it this is my eye look today do you guys love it <laughs> Benjamin Franklin he's Benjamin Franklin <laughs>
<laughs> hey, it's Franklin. Okay, love it ups. Love it ups and rubber ups. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the try on portion of my haul so I can start editing and rip out these hair extensions because I do not want them in my head anymore. But joke time. It's probably gonna take me, what, four years to finish this? <laughs> Ready? Ready? How do poets enjoy nature? They go on a haiku. Okay. I think I'm done with this joke book. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you guys all in the next one. Bye. Love each other. Be kind. Big sparkles on you. Bye.